Lake Travis ISD is wrapping up its first few days of school after going back on Wednesday. Yeah. So in the middle of the week, not bad. The district superintendent says it's just the start of a very busy year over there. Yeah, it's a good way to start them off. Give them three days rather than the full <laughs> five. KXAN's Mercedes Hernandez live for us this morning. And Mercedes, you talk with the superintendent about some changes that students are seeing this year. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I did. And speaking of those students, I'm sure that they are still very much in bed on this Friday morning. It's still pretty quiet out here. Just a, a couple of cars hanging out in the parking lot for now. Um, I'm sure their employees getting ready to clock in for the day, but those students won't get here for another couple of hours. But as you guys said, I talked to uh, Superintendent Paul Norton. He says that there is plenty of things that he's watching this school year from construction here on campus, including right here at Lake Travis High School to what's going on at the state capitol. Now we sat down and talked about everything. Let's take a look. We're going back to school. Yes. Uh, what kind of changes, if any changes, can parents and students expect to see um, on their first day? Yes, we're looking forward to a great 2024-25 school year. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work during the summer. We've had a lot of construction projects going on from our bond issues the last few years. Uh, several of our campuses have updated entries uh, to the campus as far as coming in the building, putting a safe school entrance. A lot of construction going on at Lake Travis High School with parking lots and lots of other different projects. And so uh, a lot of movement from our bond elections and we're very excited to have that. There's been some updates to the district's smart device um, yes. procedures, protocols as well. So tell me about that. Yeah, so we've been working with different groups for the last couple of years about cell phone and technology in the classroom. Uh, it's been a hot topic, uh, not just here, but across the state and across the country. Uh, and so at the beginning of this school year, uh, that will be in place where students, they can have a smart device, it just has to be turned off and in their backpack, in their purse, whatever it may be. It just can't be turned on. And so if parents need to contact their child, they can do like we've done in the past, uh, where they can contact the front office if there's an emergency, we can definitely get a note to the child. Every school year is a new opportunity for a lot of different things. Yes. Um, what would you like parents to know? What would you like students or staff to know? Yeah, the one unique thing about education is we get a fresh start every year. We get to uh, start over, for lack of a better term, and it's always exciting. It's always fun. Uh, looking forward into this school year, we have a legislative session coming up, and we're definitely going to need support from our community. Now, this last legislative session, there was a lot of money that was left on the table for public ed. Um, that um, was not released to schools. It's going to be a very hot legislative session around education and we just need our parents to come out and, and support our public schools, support our staff, and support their kids. And uh, Superintendent Norton is not the only school leader we've heard talk about similar concerns. We've heard advocates from Round Rock ISD and Austin ISD said that they are also worried about state funding and are watching the legislature pretty closely. Now, lawmakers don't return to the Capitol until January, so we've got some time until then. Let's go back to the studio.